Good afternoon, Pastor David. Hey, John. Welcome, everybody, to Unfiltered. Uh, because we have a short week, we have a little different background today. Yeah. Uh, Pastor, I wanted to ask you a question that a conversation that we had off camera, which was really interesting because it's going to, it, it really leads to the long question I have maybe for another time. But one of the things I have been thinking about is the men of our church, uh, particularly those who are married and have wives. And, and those who are serving at the church and just the men in general in our church. Uh, I believe that God has blessed us with a with an amazing men's ministry. But one of the things that we've talked about off campus, uh, off camera, is how the wife makes the husband a better man. From that, and I wanted to hear your response on that. From that, does that lead in making a better man for Christ? Well, I think in general, a good wife, obviously, a woman who um, is a good wife to her husband, um, will always be an improvement to that man, you know, even if they're not believers. Mm -hmm. Because if she has a, a love, a genuine love for him and encouragement to him and those qualities, I think that she's uh, going to be of help to him to be a better man than he should be. It only gets better when it's under the the banner of Christ when when the husband and the wife are worshipers of God and love Jesus you know because you bring the spiritual aspect in through that so you know when in scripture when Adam was created he was created with a built-in need for completion in that that it's the male and the female there was no confusion in the mind of God as to which was male and which was female, though our Supreme Court justice might have a problem with that one, right? <laughs> and a lot of doctors, too. But God created them male and female, and male and female need each other, especially in marriage, but need each other to complete one another. And so, as a Christian man, I have my wife who also loves the Lord. Now, how has she made me a better man? Because she fills in gaps in my life that are lacking. And so there are things within her that that I believe are especially um, determined by the Lord in, in, in marriage, Christian marriage, to be of help to this person. Because I sought the Lord prior to meeting my wife, and I asked him that he might put me to sleep to my desires and bring the one that would be best for me. So I started my relationship with Marie when she and I began to date and all. I, I began with that kind of a foundation that this is a woman brought to me that I prayed for. And, and I, it turns out that indeed she was the answer to my prayer because Marie has areas of her life that are, are complementary to me that that fill in the gaps I have. She has various areas that that have made me a better man because I have learned from them and have actually been changed by her into the man that I have become over time. Because I do believe that the wife completes the man even as the man completes the wife, John. And so how, how, how are Christian men bettered by Christian wives? Well, if their wives are serving the Lord as Christian women, if they're prayerful and if they're um, they're biblically sound in the things that they they bring to the marriage, you know, in terms of relational with the husband, should she be able to bear children? A Christian mama who is raising the children also alongside of the husband, he can only hope to be improved, and that's what's taken place with me. And you've heard this before; I've said this many times that. It depends on the person you marry, uh, what person you'll become, mm. because you have a tendency of, of responding to, to them. So because my wife has certain aspects of her that um, I respond to over the last many years, I've become more uh, compassionate because she's very gentle in heart. I've become tender in the way I speak because she speaks with a gentleness and a kindness and a variety of things that I could point to that if it were not for Marie, I more than likely would not have possessed on my own. 
And would I have married, an, uh, should I have married another woman, whatever she was like would have helped to mold me into what I became. And so that's why I think it's very important to pray about who we're going to marry and um, to prayerfully decide when, when it appears that this is somebody I can marry. That's why it's so very important for me to make sure that that is prayerful and then to yield to whatever the Lord is leading in that relationship and then grow alongside of them. So it's a process versus <clears throat> making a haste decision because a lot of times on both sides, there can be that haste decision where, hey, you know, I'm lonely or I have needs. And, and instead of having that time to really get to know each other in that sense. Yeah. Uh, I like what we <laughs> talked about before. And I'll keep this short that when Adam spoke about Eve, he burst out into a song. Yeah, and that that's amazing when you read that in Genesis, mm -hmm. and uh, and so uh, as we respond to our wives in that way, we become better men, not only for our wives but for the kingdom, and so. Well, well you know, one last thought about that. Yes, I I've always found that since first reading that, how that he's he's saying, you know, this is woman she was taken out of man, and um, the fact that he saw her. And then it provoked the song. After seeing all the animals and naming them, uh, finally, one like me. Finally. And so when you find that person in, in, in your life that you, you can say finally, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful thing. And I think that's probably one of the more romantic portions of Scripture that sometimes may not be noted. That, uh, that Adam burst into song when he saw Eve and uh you know she shall be called woman he completed his task of naming uh god's created animals and our animal life and she shall be called woman she was taken out of man mm. and so she was taken out of his rib because she was to be close to his heart and he sang and i think that's beautiful that's amazing yeah. pastor thank you so much for sharing uh, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. And this is a conversation that we've been having off camera, but it's been stirring up within me. And so thank you for shedding some light on this. Want to do, want to invite our church family to come join us on Wednesday evening. Service starts at 7 p.m. We're actually going to have an extended time of worship uh, after the service as Jared will lead the, the, nice. the, the service into worship. And so invite your friends and family to come on out. For those who are part of our church family and are looking for a place to go for Thanksgiving, uh, our, our church is providing a Thanksgiving meal for those that attend. Uh, they're going to have a dev devotion and some worship. And so you can actually go to our website to get more information on that. Mm -hmm. And then we do look forward to seeing you on Sunday. At services are 830 and 1045. Mm -hmm. And so, Pastor David, thank you so much. Bye, John. Thank you guys for tuning in, and God bless you. God bless you.